And new for you at noon, a Hialeah councilman is taking some legal action against the mayor of Hialeah. It's all over the city's 911 system. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Motohong is live to tell us about this lawsuit. Leanne. So that news conference wrapped up just a short time ago. City of Hialeah Councilman Brian Calvo announced that he has filed a lawsuit along with his team of attorneys and served notice against the mayor of Hialeah, Esteban Bovo. He's also calling for a formal investigation into the, what he calls the crisis facing the city's emergency response system. Let's remind you how this all started. You may remember uh, that Hialeah Records documented some troublesome deficiencies with the city's 911 call center citing abandoned calls and answer rates that were below the state's minimum standard. In fact, a city commission report from 2022 found that the city's dispatch unit was, quote, woefully understaffed, grossly neglected, and that it needed immediate attention. There were also some claims made by current nine uh, dispatchers as well as uh, the head of the firefighters union about calls that were dropped. That 911 worker saying that uh, they were working uh, shifts that were way too long, could not have uh, bathroom breaks or meal breaks. Lots of hardship uh, stated from that council member. So, uh, excuse me, from that 911 dispatcher. So, cut to today, we have this news conference, right? And you have Hialeah Councilman Brian Calvo saying uh, that he uh, is trying to ask for more documents himself. He said he tried to convince the council to launch an investigation, but that they, he was unsuccessful. So when he tried to ask for some documents himself, he says that the city told him that he needed to pay $7,000 out of his own pocket to access them. He says that never before has a council member or city um, person acting on behalf of the city been charged for official records and that is one of the big reasons that he is filing this lawsuit. I received a communication from the city clerk October 3rd saying that I was going to be charged approximately $7,000 in records uh, for the records that I was requesting. If these constraints by the mayor are left unchallenged, they set a very dangerous uh, precedent. We do have uh, a statement from the mayor of, or excuse me, from the mayor's office. We did reach out uh, to him for that. If, uh, excuse me one second, because I did lose my text uh, of that statement, but basically says that they would not comment uh, on this and that um, they would not be commenting. Here we go. Sorry about that. The facts speak for themselves. The mayor will not comment on this matter. The city will prove this is a cheap political act. So he's also said before in prior interviews that there is no issue with the 911 call center. He called it a dangerous narrative that creates a story that they are failing the residents of the city of Hialeah. And he also pointed to the fact uh, that rates were slightly better than and what we are seeing countywide. He pointed to some numbers. We're going to be deeping, uh, diving deeper into this lawsuit as well as the story as a whole coming up on later editions of Local 10 News. For now, reporting live here in the city of Hialeah, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.